Hey friends, I made this sour cream and raisin pie as part of my 50 popular state desserts series. This is the popular state dessert for Iowa and I'm going to show you exactly how I made it. Now, if you've watched any of my videos before, you'll know I don't bake a lot of pies. I'm not a big fan of pies. So this has been a new experience for me. Last time I didn't have pie weights and it didn't turn out so great. So I did some reading online and found that you can use beans to weight down your pie. Just put a little parchment paper down and then put the beans on top. So this is what I'm doing and it actually did work out rather well. And besides not getting that parchment paper to stay down very well. But I put this in the oven for 400 degrees for 15 minutes with the beans inside of the pie. That just holds that crust down enough so it doesn't shrink up and shrink down the sides, which is what happened on my last pie. Now, after 15 minutes, we're going to pull this out, and then I just took those beans out and then put this pie back in the oven for another five minutes at 350 degrees. And that just bakes the crust enough so that when we put the filling in, the crust is already pre-baked and doesn't have to fully bake with the filling in. So here is the final result. We have a nice golden crust. This is fully baked, ready for our pie filling. So now let's get to the pie filling. We're going to start with two cups of sour cream. This is an interesting pie. It does have kind of that tangy sour cream flavor. So I wasn't sure about that. But And then we're going to put in a cup and a half of sugar, which if I was to ever make this pie again, I would go down a little bit on the sugar. I thought this pie was overly sweet. Then we're going to add in three tablespoons of flour. This helps to thicken this up as we cook it. You're just going to cook this on a medium heat. We want to get that nice and thick. We're also going to add in three egg yolks. And then I kept stirring as I went because I did have my heat on already. And then the last thing, you can have a sour cream raisin pie without the raisins. So we're going to add a cup of raisins. This adds to the sweetness of the pie. So again, if you don't like an extra sweet pie, you want to cut back on that sugar. But I did it just like the recipe said. I think this is popular in Iowa with um, the Amish. That's what I read online regarding this pie. So now you can see that was getting thicker. And now we're going to go over to the counter and we're going to make some meringue. So I had the three egg whites left over from my egg yolks. And I'm just going to whip those together with just a little bit of cream of tartar, a half a teaspoon. Once you get these to a soft peak, and I'll show you in a second, it'll get to that soft peak. Then we're going to add in some sugar. Here we go, they're nice and foamy, and they're just a little bit of a peak. That is a perfect consistency. So now we're gonna start adding our sugar, and we're gonna add in three quarters of a cup, but you wanna do it about a tablespoon at a time. You don't wanna just pour that all in. And you can see, as you add the sugar in, this will get a nice glossy color, and it'll keep getting thicker and thicker as you keep beating that. It's been fun the last year, well, so far, just a few months making these state desserts because I've made three different kinds of meringues now. So that's been fun because, like I said, I don't make a lot of pies. Now, once we are done with our meringue, we're going to go back over to our pie shell and add our pie filling. Smooth that all out, and then we're going to add our meringue on top. Now, at this point, you really can do however you like. Some people like the meringue fancy with the little points but because this is like an Amish style pie everything I saw online they really just smoothed their meringue out and made it very I guess what you would say is modest if you're talking about an Amish pie so I just smooth that out and now we're going to put this in the oven for 15 minutes and watch this I almost dropped it that would have been awful so we're going to put this in the oven for about 15 or 20 minutes just until your meringue starts to get a little bit browned. Now you can see how pretty this turned out. We're going to leave it cool for about an hour on the counter and then that needs to go into the fridge for about three to six hours. And I'll tell you guys, we pulled it out after about two and it was still warm. So three to six really is what you want to keep it in the fridge if you want to serve that nice and chilled. 
Now I'll cut into this and you can see this nice, it's almost like a custard, but because of the sour cream, it's really tangy. Look how pretty this was gonna be. And then flop. <laughs> Sometimes you guys don't get to see the bloopers of my videos, but guess what? There are a lot of them. So I'm gonna start including more because I think it's kind of funny. So here we go. Here's the beautiful YouTube picture of this raisin pie, the sour cream raisin pie, the popular state dessert in Iowa. I definitely thought it was fun making this pie. Would I make it again? I'm not sure, but I would definitely try somebody else's version to see how close mine got to it. Thanks for watching, everybody.